Why, hello there. Today, we are going to talk about Helicopter Parenting in the Age of Drone Warfare by Patrick Barb. It is a sci-fi horror novella put out by the indie publisher Spooky House Press, and I'll put a link down below to them and also to the book if you'd like to check it out. This book is an interesting take on where technology could be heading in the future with helicopter parenting. In this version and day and age in the US, you can get these parental drones and these cloud e contacts that are special contacts that you have put into your child's eyes at birth and then you can basically see everything that they see through their eyes through these contacts and then there's also the parental drone and I, this is a time when the drones fly around and you basically can survey or surveil your child as they grow up through this drone and it comes into the story from the moment of the son's birth whose name is Zach and then there's the, the parents, Abe and Kathy, what happens as the son grows older and how the story unfolds. And the things that even though maybe you have your kid under surveillance, you still, there's so much that you don't see and that you don't catch that's so vital and important. And one of the things too in this story is how the father works a lot and he's not always able to be there for these like big major events with his son as his son grows up. Instead, you know, he pilots his little drone and has the drone there so he's on a screen, you know, while everyone else is hanging out in person. And it kind of, you catch like the vital importance of having physical and actual tactile like relationships with people and how just everything being on screens, well, yeah, it can fill a little bit of a space. It's so much more important to be there with your family and to be part of their lives because you miss so much. There's so much emotion that you just can't pick up on when you're behind a screen or, you know, flying around as a drone. <laughs> this story kind of takes a look at the dark side of what happens, you know, when the parent is kind of, they're there, but they're still kind of an absentee parent. And where this kid, like, what happens as he grows up and the things that shape him and which direction it takes. It's a very sad and powerful story and I really, really liked it and it had a very deep impact. It is very moving that rings all too true about where possibly we're moving like just with this day and age it's you know back in the day people had a, one person would work like the father would work and you could afford to raise three kids and it wasn't a big deal but now you have to have like a two income family basically in order to survive there's a lot that's lost in that especially because people become so work obsessed it's hard to like make time for your family and it's very important because when you don't things tend to slip through the cracks and bad things can happen and this uh kind of shows you where where things can possibly go and it's uh as i said very powerful and i i really enjoyed it sometimes i like a good heartbreaking story and this was uh definitely one of them i can't say too much without giving it away but it's absolutely fantastic the way that patrick barb writes i read it in one sitting it was very addictive to read. It was a page turner for sure. And I would highly recommend it. I give it five stars. The writing was fantastic. It was just such a powerful and moving story. The characters, you know, you just, you kind of see things through their eyes and it's very, just the whole concept of it is fascinating. Like where technology is heading in this day and age and the bad things that can happen that, you know, you try to be everywhere and see everything, but yet you miss so much, even with all this technology. If you like sci-fi horror, this is definitely one to check out. I, as I said before, I'll have a link down below to the book if you would like to check that out. That is an affiliate link, so a little bit goes to the channel. It also goes to support indie bookstores. So if you like sci-fi horror books, the next video coming up will be another sci-fi horror book. So stick around, check it out, and if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.